What up, what up, what up, man? The Real Coach JB, another JB's Daily Rant. Right here, brought to you by CandidateCBD.com. Use the promo code COACHJB, all caps. Gets you 20% off plus free shipping. The Rippers are in. Head on over to CandidateCBD.com. I got a lot to discuss on this one, man. JB's Daily Rant. I've been, been on my mind for a minute. Apologize and be forgiven. Tell the truth and be canceled. Coaches, pastors, priests, politicians, presidents of universities, presidents of our country. Lie, steal, screw kids, literally and figuratively. And guess what? They get awarded, rewarded, and they get new jobs. Tell the truth and be canceled. Become unemployable adults and be villainized forever. Lot to unpack. I'll be right back for this fucking JB's Daily Ranch. You won't want to miss. Tell the truth and be canceled. Become unemployable adults. Be villainized forever if you're JB. If you're somebody that tells the truth. Lie, steal, cheat. Fuck over the youth. Fuck over kids. Be employed forever. Apologize and be forgiven. All you just got to do is apologize. Art Bryles. Jerry Sandusky held jobs at the Power Five level for over 30 years, people. 30 years! As they sodomized, allowed sexual misconduct, assault and battery, you name it, under their watchful eye. Yet, Art Bryles not only got another job, he got a job at the most influential level of all, high school football. Art Bryles became a head coach in Texas, the land of high school football, after the biggest rape scandal ever at the University of Baylor. And he is looked at as a good coach to this day, and somebody will hire him again. I believe he's even a consultant as we speak because he's in the network. He's in the fraternity. He's in the group. He's in the good old boy system. Once you're in, you're in for life. It's like the fucking Illuminati. Urban Meyer, he can finger a 20-year-old in his own bar and restaurant. He'll get a job. Rick Pitino can hire prostitutes for his players, do all kind of shady shit, and guess what? He'll continue to get a job. He just got a job over a good dude at St. John's. Mike Bone resigns after a scandal at USC. A sexual misconduct scandal going on right under his watchful eye. Guess what? Apologize and resign. All will be forgotten. All will be forgiven. He resigns after coming from the University of Cincinnati, a group of five school. He just hired Lincoln Riley and won 11 football games. Do you think he really wanted to fucking resign? If you believe that, get the fuck out of here. He will land a new job very, very soon. Watch my fucking, just watch. Bama's head basketball coach sitting around here and just apologizes. The athletic director who allows it apologizes. Bygones will be bygones, won't they? The Miller kid will get drafted. The coach will get paid. The athletic director will get a boost and and, and a salary increase because Nick Saban will save his job and win another natty. But somebody lost their life. Don't worry about that. Somebody lost their life. Bygones will be bygones. Apologize and be forgiven. Tell the truth and be villainized. Now the latest hire, Schimbeckler, the son of Bo Schimbeckler, Michigan great, legendary coach, was hired three days ago. Now he's been fired three days later, but he gets to resign. He doesn't get fired. He gets an option. 
Resign because you're Bo Schimbeckler's kid. <sighs> nepotism at its finest. A lot of people say nepotism is not a real thing. Really? Really? <laughs> Why don't you ask Coach Snyder at Kansas State how many sons he's put through college football as a coach? How about you ask Mike Bill Belichick how many kids he has coaching over really, really, really qualified guys? How about you ask every other coach out there who has a kid in the league over a qualified, more qualified coach? How about you ask Andy Reid that question? Ask Andy Reid if his kids would be coaching if Andy Reid wasn't their daddy. But nepotism doesn't exist. Shim Beckler says some racist remarks on Twitter and some other dumbass shit. Gets a job at Michigan after all that. Great job, human resources. You guys really turn over rocks and find out who you're hiring before you hire them, don't you? Auburn has another sex scandal on the rise. Under Hugh Freeze's watchful eye. Another one, Hugh Freeze? Let's just keep hiring these fucking guys, huh, presidents and ADs? But shit. Presidents and ADs are the fucking most crooked ones. Mike Bone just resigns at USC after hiring Lincoln Riley, having a great successful season. He's now gone a year later because now a bunch of fucking sexual misconduct, sexual harassment, and other unlawful acts are coming up and, and coming to the surface. Wait till that unfolds. But guess what? Apologize and be forgiven. He'll move on, he'll resign, and he'll get a new job in a year. He'll be another athletic director. He'll be hiring these other fucking shitbirds coaches who don't care about these kids. Forgive and for be forgotten. Bygones be bygones. Just apologize. Just apologize. Because you're already in the fraternity. You're already in the circle. Now let's take Coach JB. That would be me. I do nothing but help kids, love kids, get kids scholarships, send kids to the NFL, graduate kids at an all-time rate. Yet, I am canceled. I am blackballed. I am unemployable. I am the villain. I am an asshole. I can't help kids anymore. Why? Because I yell. I cuss. And you know why else? I ultimately tell the truth. Don't tell the truth! You will be canceled. Don't tell the truth. You can fuck little boys in bathroom stalls and showers, drop the soap, and work for Joe Paterno forever and ever at 30 years. Be a great fucking community member to all the watchful eyes. But kids are fucking just destroyed inside and out their entire lives. Because of what you did, you fucking piece of shit. But you'll get jobs over me because I tell the truth. I tell kids what they need to hear, not what they fucking want to hear. But guess what? I sure ain't fucking sodomizing them. I sure ain't raping them. I'm sure not fucking them over. But JB telling the truth, cussing and yelling is far worse than screwing kids in bathrooms, allowing sexual rapes to occur at Baylor, and assaults under your watchful eye, Mike Bone at USC. Buying prostitutes and performing adultery, Urban Meyer, fingering a 20-year-old in a bar. That ain't as bad as cussing and telling the truth, JB. And nepotism don't is not that much. Don't worry, you can drive a car off the road drunk high and kill a kid and fucking still coach in a Super Bowl, coach. You're it's okay. But goddamn it, JB, you can't yell, you can't cuss, and you can't tell the kids the truth. Especially black inner city kids. If you tell them the truth, you are canceled. You're not in the club, JB. You're not in the fraternity, JB. You're not a good old boy. Networker, JB. Some get in, stay in. Some never get in. Yet the ones that are in needed me. Good old JB. Every single day. You ask why I was an asshole to those coaches. Well, now you know. Now you're hearing it firsthand. Because they use kids like a piece of meat in a fucking meat market. They use coaches at the high school level, at the JUCO level, like pieces of meat in the meat market. And get rewarded huge salaries. 
by lying to kids in their homes, in front of their moms, in front of their dads, in front of their aunties and grandmas and parents, sell them a used car when they really sell them a fucking lemon. You wonder why kids are at an all-time high transfer rate portal, transfer portal at all time, right? Why? Because they realize that real recognizes real. And when they get to this campus and they see who the real coach is, oh, you lied to me. You sold me a lemon. Coach A.B. never did that. I'd rather get yelled at by Coach A.B., cussed at by Coach A.B., told the truth by Coach A.B., than your fucking lying ass, crooked criminal ass coaches that are out here right now. Ask me why. My DMs are flooded every single year a job opens up by not only the players at that college and university or high school, but the community members in those those certain places too. Why are they flooding me to apply for the job? We want you to be the coach. Why? Because I tell kids what they need to hear, not what they want to hear. Develop tough skin. I get them onto the next levels, not only of football, but life. Where percentage-wise, they succeed at a higher rate than any other coach who has ever coached football. Period. Me. I did that. I never had anyone die, get arrested, kicked out of a program or university. But yet I'm too harsh on kids. I'm too hard on kids. I'm too rough around the edges, says administrators and principals and presidents. These same administrators are guys like Mike Bone at USC who allow sexual misconduct to occur under his rightful eye. Yet, JV, you are the asshole. But yet my DMs flood every year because jobs come open and those kids want me to coach them. Me to lead them. The fuel to the engine are the players. And they want me. I'll argue they need me. Yet these crooked administrators, crooked ass coaches, let's be frank here, are straight up jealous of me. We'll continue to make money off these pieces of meat in the meat market, the fuel to the engines, the kids. We'll continue to work at half capacity because these coaches and administrators and leaders won't ever get the full potential out of a kid because they are half ass invested. They don't really love the kid. They just want the money. Plus half of them are criminal bullshitters who know someone, know a family member, or a straight up ass kisser. And they're going to stay in the fucking circle. I'll never change. So if that one real program wants to hire me, they will have to hire me for me. Not for me being someone I'm not. It's another daily rant right here from the Coach JB. Only the real. I dropped the mic on that. <sighs> Drop your nuts, admin. Drop your nuts, presidents. Look yourself in the mirror. Keep hiring these lying ass, cheating ass, fake ass, good boys. When real ones like myself are out here and these kids at this time in this generation in this era our kids are struggling at all time highs not only on the football field but in life look at what's happening around us and you don't think we need more coaches that are like me you are sadly fucking mistaken and mr president mr athletic director mr principal but guess what you're probably fucking crooked too that's the life we live man that's the life we're in Tune in tomorrow for the Coach AB Show with Big Smitty. I appreciate you guys. Peace.